Hey guys and welcome back to the channel and guess what? Wolves finally have their first sign-in of the January transfer window. Welcome Leonardo Campana. So what do we think of uh, Leonardo Campana? Not Leonardo da Vinci, but if he's as much as an artist as what he is, he will be quite a sign-in. So he's a young lad um, that's a Mendes client that has super agent who's got fantastic connections with Fosun and of course Nuno. And uh, it's one that's been rumoured for a little while. It's finally over the line. He's travelled in. There's loads of leaks on social media about him from his friends signing for Wolves. So before the official announcement, which has finally happened from Wolves now, that he has finally signed. Basically, he's one of those where he's, he's not coming in straight into the senior team. More announced on the under-23 side. But we've seen Wolves that have done this a lot. Um, the likes of Ruben Venegra, for example, who is actually out injured at the moment. Pedro Neto, as you doubt, who again was injured. They've all been bought in for the under-23 session. Because don't forget, Wolves are investing heavily into the under-23s to make them competitive. And also as a route path through to the senior team. I don't expect that he will be straight into the side. Um... But he's going to be one that will be there or thereabouts, and I'm sure if he impresses, we'll get his chance. However, he is Ecuadorian. Um, his father is actually a government minister. I think his grandfather's got a stadium uh, named after him. And um, he's a young lad. Um, he, he basically played in the Ecuadorian side that not so long ago won the uh, South American under 20s championship um, becoming the um, I think the top scorer of that and he also played for Ecuador as well in the uh, the equivalent of the world championship where they came third uh, but he is going to be a away from Wolves from pretty much next week until the second week of February because it's the under 23s Olympic qualifying tournament thing that they're involved with and he's going to be very much involved in that and away so he's not going to be immediately available to Wolves he has got incredible uh, talent he's very highly rated there was a lot of big clubs that have been looking at him the likes of AC Milan um, Italian Giants and Spanish Giants as well that have been looking at him so for Wolves to get him he is kind of out of contract they will have to pay con uh, compensation to uh, Barcelona SC, not the Barcelona that we all know and love um, in Europe, but the one in South America. So, he's going to be one that I think has got a lot of talent, he can, he's got an eye for goal, he's got a good bit of skill about him. He's Again, he, he has got a Spanish passport, so no problem with the international clearance, he speaks the uh, the Spanish language, obviously a lot of Spanish speakers in the, in the Wolves squad, so hopefully he'll settle in. Um, he has said when talking to Wolves that since they've been promoted to the Premier League he has been watching Wolves, likes the way they play, excited about playing in the stadium and he wants to force his way into the first team. He has got four full senior caps for Ecuador as well and they do seem to have quite a lot of talent coming through. We've seen from uh, the likes of um, Raul Jimenez who's come in from uh, Mexico over in the Americas that they have a very passionate fan base and I'm sure that the Ecuadorians will be watching his progress with much interest as well so yeah obviously welcome to him how do you feel about this signing there are other potential signings on the way obviously Oliveira used to play for Norwich um, now playing his train for AEK Athens he is he's being mooted Portuguese again, mooted to be coming to Wolves, probably as backup for Jimenez. And then we've got Podence uh, as well, who basically has got a lot of history with sport in Lisbon. He's one of those, a bit like Patricio, that left uh, when obviously they were attacked by their own fans, terminated his contract. Um, very, very highly rated as well. Um, and he, that one's supposed to be very, very close to another Mendes client very fast small nimble and um, 
again highly sought after and he'd been plying his trade uh, at Olympiakos again in Greece so he's he, the, the, they're thinking he's going to be around about the 20 million pound and the articles that I've read um, on him well that would be a very good price to get him at and he's 24 but we'll wait to see what happens with that but this one's all about Leonardo Campana and his arrival at Wolves and we'll hope he's going to take leave your thoughts on what you think about this in the comment section below uh, if you're new around here please consider subscribing hit the bell because you'll always be first to be notified and until the next one I'm Dazzling Dave always Wolves <laughs>